we get uh, we're getting hit with something called Coop's Law and wait Coop's Law I haven't heard that in four years I'm just gonna sip my slushy damn dude I think she sees it <laughs> I think they see it, bro. Is milk grenade heart getting flicked? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's good. He's good. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Go, go. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. What the fuck are you doing? Get in, Harry. <laughs> Dude, they're fucking dead. I'm looking on the ground. She's fucking out. Oh, she's fucking dead. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead, man. Take that. It's all good. Tony, how's it going? Hey, what's going on, Ray? What's going on? Listen, I, I'm i aware, you know, you lied to me in the situation. I'm aware of everything that's going on. I just need, and I'm willing to speak to you about it. I just need to tell you some things going forward, okay? I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. That actually, some Redline members are going to be here with us. It's going to be Sar and LG. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what's what's, you know, what's going on? All right. Okay. See you there, Tony. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Dell and Daphne, if I can get both of you on a rooftop, right, so you can surveil routes in and out of the warehouse. Before Raymond steps foot inside the warehouse, Oscar, myself, and JT will give it a quick sweep, just to make sure there isn't anyone lying in wait for Raymond. Ideal security. All right, security guys, you can stay around here on the bar, right? Gotcha. I'll yeah, be yeah, right back. The... It's right. This door is locked. Huh. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up, huh. what's going on? Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. <laughs> Damn. I was talking to Ray. I didn't realize the whole classroom was going to come here. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Hey, Tony. We are just hoping for the best. At this nah, point. that's all good. Why is everybody here? I don't, I, didn't, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on with the other people. I just bought some security guards to make sure everything's all right. You know? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's okay. So what's going on, right? Well, first, Tony, before we get going, there's no cameras in here or anyone listening in that room, is there? Because I want to have a one-on-one -on -one. room. Well, the room to the right there, you know. Right, not to be that guy, but you said you want to have a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I got two people on my right. I got well, some two people at the bar. <laughs> I got Kitty over there on the phone. Oh, I probably got your whole squad outside, you know what I mean? Like. We're this here. is about as one on one as it's gonna get. All right, all right, Tony. We fine. You nah, know, you're good. Let's, let's, let's talk real quick, okay? All right, all right. You I lied know. to me. I know. I know. You assisted people in hurting family. Okay. To be honest. To be honest. Right. To be frank. <laughs> I didn't it? know what was gonna happen. You know, what I mean, like, listen, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I didn't even, you know what I mean? I didn't even do too much. You didn't do too much? Tony, did you did you put the camera down in the uh, visitation room? You found it? Yes, they found it. The people on the outside, oh, cops, shit. everything like that. Oh, shame. So you're aware of it? Aware of the camera? Yeah. Nah, I don't remember that. You just <laughs> Wait, you just yelled you filmed it. <laughs> On what? <laughs> nah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm just fucking Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, listen. I yes. But like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? No motherfucker, I don't know what you're saying. I know that you potentially put the fucking camera down. But did I? I don't know. I asked you. Listen, man. <laughs> Had to be someone. <laughs> Tony, you motherfucker. What do you mean I had to be someone? I mean, can't. I mean, it's like the you know, casino you days. Like, I, you mean it's got to be something? It's got to be something. It can't be now. You know what I mean? It's got to be something. Yeah, but it couldn't have been no one. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, it couldn't have been no one. It had to be someone that it was involved. <laughs> you you walked out where Booth and fucking Harry and I don't know who the hell else were there. Listen, but I didn't know somebody was going to fucking run in there, go Rambo fucking, you know, whatever the fuck, right? You know what I mean?
So that wasn't the plan to set up a camera well, and they go in there and shoot everyone down. Mickey did it. Mickey did it. Well, I mean, obviously, fucking Mickey did it. <laughs> what the fuck? The only people that were seeing were booed and hearing you. Well, obviously, you didn't fucking see him. Harry did it without a mask on. Well, that's Harry. What? Listen, man, I, I'm just telling her how it is. <laughs> Motherfucker, what do you mean you're telling it how it is? I told you, Tony. No, that Mickey, he's a sneaky guy. He does what he does, you know what I mean? What, he, he put a fucking Harry Brown voice modulator on and put his fucking skin on? Listen, man, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. All, all I'm trying to figure out is, look, I'm in a, you know, uh, a weird situation. You know what I mean? It's like, you know... I got some business ventures I have to do with you, you know. Yes, I got I'm aware. Close friends, you know what I mean. The whole thing, it's just like, you know what I mean. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot, and I really, you oh, know, I'm don't headshot. know I'm how headshot. to handle it too much, to be honest. And it's like, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what to think of things, you know. You know, listen, I understand what happened. You know what I mean? I understand what happened, but like, why did I get a call? you know, immediately right after, you know what I mean? And got a call that, hey, listen, you know, Tony, you're done. You know, we're coming after you. And then fucking, you're about Perez. yeah. You're and then Perez some bitch boy called me from a fucking unknown number saying, oh, you know, you know, calling me up and all this shit. And it's like, how could you do this? And, you know, you're a little you bitch and all you do is race. And I'm like, are you fucking Wait, serious? Uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, fucking, he's, he's a dumbass. He's, he's like, Oh, fucking Bruno. Yeah, yeah, Bruno. That was him. Bruno called you and said... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, Bruno was being a fucking cock. So I just don't understand why. Listen, I, I get what happened, right? But also, like, people told me they were going to kill me. You know what I mean? And then, listen, you told I, I me heard a that we were going to talk, and then other people were saying that they were going to kill me, so I didn't know it was going to happen. And what's this shit about you wanting to kill Goofy? What is that about? Let's, Goofy let's, had nothing to do with this. Let's talk. All right, Tony. So just to clarify some things. Number one... As soon as Perez, who was there with me, saw that Cassie, his girlfriend, was bleeding out on right. the ground due to Harry, he right. might have made calls, which is the call to you, before even right. talking to me. He just immediately said, I'm going to kill you, right? And I understand his perspective. It's his girlfriend. So yeah, he's I mean, been that's what he said. He said, time. Tony, you're done. You better run. Yes, that's, that's, I understand yeah. his perspective. But I told him, and I, even though he's my high command, I told him, hey, listen, just wait. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. Wait, let me speak to Tony. Maybe this is something right. we can salvage if you weren't directly involved. Right. The problem is right. we find out you are directly involved. So this is where we are. And I want to see, Tony, you didn't shoot anyone, but you were there. And you potentially assisted Buddha and, and Harry from getting away from the situation. I don't know what the fuck the, the whole thing happened on the outside. All I know is that you were there. You potentially put a camera down. That's all there is to it. And you told me you would stay out of it. The, the number one thing I want to clarify, Tony, is I am willing... You genuinely look past it because you are not the idiot that shot the AK-47 at my, my lawyers and my family. I'm willing to look past it because I know we want to go into business together and because you are family to me. I'm willing to look past and give you another chance. The problem is I don't want you to get involved again. That's where things start getting a little bit more difficult. I get what you're putting down. You know what I mean? I understand what you're saying. You know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, and um, to be quite you know, honest, I... I feel like <laughs> not this again. You maybe should realize who you're talking to, too, you know? No, of course, Tony. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I know your relationship with Buddha. I know everything. Like, we've been over this hundreds of times. But you're also still someone I consider family and someone who shares a lot of family through Redline. Right. Why forfeit all of that to get involved in a conflict? There's no reason for it. You know what I mean? Lang doesn't need your help. He has dogs like Harry Brown that will do anything he says. Hey, don't say that about Harry, all right? Harry's not a dog. He's a fucking person, okay? He might have that dog in him, but he's not a dog, all right? Right, right. Listen, I mean, this whole situation's a little, you know, crazy. I mean, I never thought I would see this in a million years. Actually, that's a lie. I knew this would happen. But what are I you mean, here walking right here? Listen, Ray, I understand, you know, you got your whole group and your whole thing and however all this shit started is how it started but you know listen look i'm not here to get the threats you know what i mean that's why you know i, I didn't 
have a talk with you to be told, listen, you know, stay out of it or else, pretty much. I mean, because that's what you're saying. But I understand that. I mean, I, I get it to an extent. But no, I mean, I, listen, you know, I got a business to run to. Whatever happens, happens. I mean, it's it's just it's hard. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's hard. It's a it's a it's a hard uh, it's a, it's a hard choice <clears throat> to take. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't mean to be be a dick, but am I Listen, saying Ray, to I, pick I, I'll, I'll tell you how it is. I'll tell you how it is. Tell me how it is. When I moved to this city, there was four motherfuckers that I started with. Okay. Yes. Avon Barksdale, Lame Buddha, and Al Sab. Those boys will, and I'm sorry to say this, come before anyone else in the city, no matter what. Okay. Um, well, that's three, but we don't talk about the fourth. Um, but if you're saying that, Tony, when I came to the city, you're one of the first group of six people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that yeah, is yeah, why I'm sitting that, here, yeah, I'm, willing yeah, to give you another chance. Yeah. Tony, if this was anyone else, they'd already be dead. Do you understand me? Like, I would not have held the Russell boys back. I just want to extend this yeah. opportunity to you so that we can mend our relationship. What is wrong with that? Do you know? Yeah, I mean, I guess... I mean, the way I look at it is, like I said, uh, Buddha and the boys are my day ones, and I'll always have their sign. And, you know, I hate to be kind of the bear bad news and the dick about things but i will always have uh, and i i know this is gonna make you upset but i'm really sorry uh this is just how it is and i'm not gonna sugarcoat it i always have buddha's back uh before yours and um you know Tony, however that comes I, down will come down fine. at the time so i already know that's the case so is it something that you're willing to get involved in the conflict it's not like this is news to me tony I the, know you're the way it works fine. is right as if like um well, if Buddha says to you to shoot Raymond, you're going to do it? Is that what you're saying? Well, Buddha doesn't control me, right? What I'm saying is, is like, that's my boy. And you're my boy too, but you have to understand that uh, that's what it started with. And I have so much history with him that, I mean, there's nothing I wouldn't do for the guy. Really? Nothing? So if it got to the point to where I needed to do something about it then i would so that's what i'm trying to say if it gets to that length which it seems like it's going down then i gotta do what i gotta do you know but uh it's it's weird because we obviously have a history too it's weird yeah i'm sorry about this tony i need your answer do you want to repair our relationship and still work together in business and still maintain the relationship between rust and redline and i mean more... i'll still do business with you you know what i mean uh, i'll do business with anybody um business at the end of the day is business that's strictly what it is and with the stuff that i told you i uh, you know i feel like i uh, feel like there's a lot of great business to be had but to an extent like i said buddha's my boy uh started day one so if it gets to the point to where i need to step in then i will and i guess that's what i'm trying to tell you i wonder if he's saying this because i'm pretty sure they're right there i wonder if he's saying it because they're there or they're corrupting it, or if this is actually something Tony Corleone would say. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you're being truthful right now, Tony, right? Oh, I mean, I'm being truthful as can be. I will, it will take me time to grasp it a little bit. But if that's the case you want to take, I just want you to know, Tony, it's, I'm not going to try to hurt you, and I never do want to. And I'm going to say it. I'm not going to have the Rust Boys hunt you until you do something dumb, all right? So please, for God's sake... Try, just for God, just stay out of it as much as you can. You're a smart man. You've got red line. You've got family. Buddha will always be your brother, even if you don't assist him in this conflict. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate and it. And you know that, right, Tony? You know yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, listen, like, like I said before, just remember who you're talking to as well. You're talking to the big boss, all right? 25 racers deep, okay? I could turn this shit to a whole game real quick. Come for your title. You don't want to fuck around, right? I'm, I'm sorry, are you threatening me with red line? <laughs> Ray, you're threatening me with rest. I... 
which is valid. To be honest, it's valid. I'm not threatening with Rust. I'm saying I'm holding Rust back, actually. I'll hold my racers back. Y you you want to have your racers shoot at Damn, Rust. I understood. <laughs> all these fucking games. Guys, like, not to you know, be a dick, but <laughs> all you motherfuckers pay twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for your fucking guns, right? Uh-huh. Wait till you're on the road, crossing the street. GTR R35 comes by. <laughs> shatters your whole fucking body. You know what it cost me? $5,000. So I'm just saying, watch out. Next time you cross the street, you might want to check the light a little bit. Maybe I'll make sure the racers aren't as safe anymore. Right. Mm. If I do hear anybody wants to go after any of my friends to get at me, I will make sure I stop at no red lights, and I will make sure that every Rust member gets hit by a car going 75 miles an hour plus, ran over twice, and doubled back. Okay. All right. And I'm sure you have guns, and will turn us into Swiss cheese. Well, I would try to avoid that, Tony. I told you I don't want to really and hurt you. I would you. try to avoid the cars running into people. But I'm telling you, as a racing crew... A lot of people think that we don't have, you know, anything to give other than us driving. But I tell you what, I'll drive your ass into a wall. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> well, not you, but. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe. Wait, what kind of? Are we talking about metaphorically? <laughs> I mean, possibly. I mean, listen, you never know. You know what I mean? Maybe one day I come to pick up a rush member and give him a ride as a taxi car driver. And next thing you know. Somebody gets a little too drunk behind the wheel and crashes into oh. a cement wall. And next thing you know, a rush member's gone. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Jesus. I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you and your family. You know, these are the things that I don't want to have to happen. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. Just don't make me bring Liberty City here. I will. What? <laughs> you heard me. Did you? <laughs> I'm bringing the mob. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to walk outside? They're going to be sitting up in the pocket. Yes. Yes, you're going to die when you walk outside. It's going to be a fucking sniper, 45 caliber. You're going to be fucking shot in the ground. You're going to be dead. All your Rust members are going to come out from the fucking trenches, and you're going to be fucking lifted off into a fucking goddamn helicopter, taken away into a private island where you're going to be fucking tortured by Harry Brown and fucking lame booted. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to lie, Tony, that all sounds very realistic, especially with the Jaeger's Island. I'm, well, yeah, I mean, I'm just, of course, Harry Brown, and I mean, anything yeah, can I, happen, but yeah. that's... That's how you know, you know what I mean? That could happen. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but it could, you know what I mean? Tony, is that gonna happen? Now I'm worried. You should be worried. Hey, you guys you guys out there are good, right? <laughs> yeah, we should definitely have a conversation about That's this. The guy who wears a bomber jacket. Guys. I swear to God, if I see them outside of this, I'm gonna stab them. Why do you hate my security? They're fucking rude! They're the only people between me and those fucking maniacs that call themselves servers. Um, they should be professional. Instead of just they being like, I'd rather stay, thanks, and be like, Hel hi, hello, we're the security detail for Mr. Raymond Romanov. Hey, listen, respectfully speaking, I told them to just protect me. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, of course. I mean, listen, Tony. And this is the way. No, I'm Except just. For that Tony! Tony. Oh, no. No. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> you can keep right, Oscar. On, Oscar is good. He, he was uh, really sure, professional. You seen your face. <laughs> Motherfucker, I saw my security's face. I thought you were planning something. I was like, the oh. fuck? I brought legal security here. I was gonna ask. I was gonna that to the meeting. Yeah, I like that. Thank God I didn't shoot chat. My stuttering is way too bad. Oh, thank you for having right, the listen, meeting. Hey, be safe. Take it too, easy, man. all right? Uh, Whatever happens, it, happens. Man. But like I said, just remember what we talked about. I will remember. I do want right. to work still with you on that, by the way. I'm just saying. You know? No worries. We still need the ID yeah, we'll do that another day, all right? Ray. You guys take it easy, okay? Take it easy, too. All right. And next time you see Harry Brown, tell him I said fuck Harry Brown. <laughs>